Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the most fascinating books and ideas. Today, we're summarizing a thought-provoking book by Nassim Nicholas Taleb called Anti-Fragile, Things That Gain From Disorder. This book delves into a revolutionary concept that goes beyond resilience and robustness. So, buckle up and let's get started. Antifragile is a groundbreaking exploration of how certain systems, organizations, and individuals not only withstand shocks and stressors, but actually thrive and grow stronger from them. Taleb introduces us to the concept of antifragility, a property that is fundamentally different from resilience or robustness. Resilience means being able to resist shocks and stay the same. Robustness means not being affected by shocks at all. But anti-fragility goes a step further. It's about getting better and stronger when exposed to volatility, randomness, disorder, and stressors. Taleb argues that many of the most successful systems in nature and human society are anti-fragile. In the first part of the book, Taleb lays the groundwork for understanding anti-fragility. He explains how anti-fragile systems benefit from shocks and how this concept applies to various domains, from biology to economics. For example, muscles grow stronger when subjected to stress through exercise. Similarly, our immune system becomes more robust when exposed to pathogens. Taleb uses the analogy of the mythical hydra, which grows two new heads for every one that is cut off, to illustrate anti-fragility. He contrasts this with the concept of the Sword of Damocles, which represents the fragile state of having a constant threat hanging over one's head. In part two, Taleb introduces the triad, fragile, robust, and anti-fragile. He categorizes different entities into these three categories. Fragile entities are harmed by volatility and stressors, robust entities resist them, and anti-fragile entities thrive because of them. For instance, a porcelain cup is fragile. It easily breaks when dropped. A plastic cup is robust. It doesn't break but stays the same. But a biological system, like the human body, is anti-fragile. It gets stronger through stress. Taleb emphasizes that we should aim to design systems, organizations, and strategies that are anti-fragile, as they are better suited to handle the uncertainties and complexities of the real world. One of the most practical concepts in the book is the barbell strategy, which Taleb discusses in part three. This strategy involves taking a highly conservative approach with the majority of your resources to ensure stability, while taking small, calculated risks with a minor portion to capitalize on potential high rewards. This way, you protect yourself from significant losses while still being open to substantial gains. For example, in investing, this might mean putting 90% of your portfolio in very safe assets like government bonds and 10% in high-risk, high-reward investments like startups. The idea is to create a balance that maximizes anti-fragility by combining safety and opportunism. In Part 4, Taleb introduces the concept of skin in the game. He argues that individuals and systems are more likely to be anti-fragile when the people involved have something at stake. When decision-makers are exposed to the consequences of their actions, they are more likely to make prudent and effective choices. Taleb criticizes systems where decision-makers have no skin in the game, such as certain financial institutions where executives can take excessive risks without facing personal consequences. He believes that having skin in the game aligns incentives and fosters anti-fragility. Part 5 delves into the concepts of optionality and convexity. Taleb explains that having options is a key aspect of being anti-fragile. Options allow you to benefit from positive outcomes while limiting your exposure to negative ones. This is closely related to the idea of convexity, where the potential upside is greater than the downside. For example, an investor with options in various assets can capitalize on unexpected market opportunities without risking significant losses. Similarly, an entrepreneur with multiple revenue streams is less vulnerable to market fluctuations. In Part 6, Taleb discusses the robustness of systems and how to build them to be anti-fragile. He emphasizes the importance of decentralization, redundancy, and diversity. 
Decentralized systems are less likely to fail catastrophically because they don't rely on a single point of failure. Redundancy ensures that there are backups in place, and diversity allows systems to adapt to a wide range of scenarios. Talib uses examples from nature, such as ecosystems, which thrive due to their diversity and interconnectedness, to illustrate how these principles can be applied to human systems like economies, organizations, and technology. Finally, in Part 7, Talib introduces the Lindy effect, which suggests that the longer something has been around, the longer it is likely to continue to exist. This principle applies to ideas, technologies, and institutions that have stood the test of time. Talib argues that systems and practices that have survived for a long time are likely to be more anti-fragile. For example, the fact that certain traditional practices or time-tested technologies are still in use today suggests that they possess qualities that make them robust or even anti-fragile. So, what are the key takeaways from anti-fragile? 1. Embrace volatility. Understand that some systems benefit from stressors and shocks. Aim to build anti-fragile systems that thrive in uncertainty. 2. Use the barbell strategy. Balance your approach by combining conservative, low-risk actions with small, high-risk opportunities to maximize anti-fragility. 3. Skin in the game. Ensure decision-makers have something at stake to align incentives and foster better decision-making. 4. Leverage optionality. Keep your options open to capitalize on positive outcomes and limit exposure to negative ones. 5. Build robust systems. Focus on decentralization, redundancy, and diversity to create systems that can adapt and survive in various conditions. 6. Respect the Lindy effect, value and learn from systems and practices that have stood the test of time, as they are likely to possess anti-fragile qualities. Anti-Fragile by Nassim Nicholas Taleb is a thought-provoking exploration of how we can benefit from chaos and uncertainty. It challenges us to rethink our approach to risk, decision-making, and system design. If you're interested in building a life, business, or society that thrives in the face of adversity, this book is a must read. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this summary, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what book you'd like us to cover next. And remember, stay anti fragile and embrace the chaos. See you next time.